He's come a long way from Lodz, Poland in the 1920s, to Israel's War of Independence in 1948, to losing his son Ilan after the 1973 Yom Kippur War, and now to this apartment in the northern stretch of Tel Aviv, where Ro McFine, 98 years old, sat down with I-24 News to recount a life shaped by Israel's own history, a life that started before Roma came to Israel, in pre-Holocaust Poland. We had some fights with Polish boys, especially during winter. We were throwing at one another uh, snow, snow with a stone in it. But uh, I didn't feel much of the antisemitism. Romick's family moved in 1933 to what would become Israel. In 1948, Romick fought in Israel's War of Independence, in the famous battle in the Gush Etzion region and then in Jerusalem, where Romek felt the pain of loss. It was very hard fighting, our fighting in Jerusalem. In our brigade during the war, one and a half year of war, out of the 1,500 fighters, there were 480 who were killed. If Romek felt the loss of his friends, he would later feel an even greater sense of loss of his son Ilan, born in 1952. He was a very nice boy, good-looking, very clever, very talented. Ilan fought in another iconic Israeli war, the Yom Kippur War of 1973. Danny Grossman would later serve in Ilan's squadron and be drawn to Ilan's story. But during the Yom Kippur War, Ilan took part in some of the most important missions, not only in the war, but in the history of the Israeli Air Force. Israel decided to bomb downtown Damascus, to bomb the Syrian headquarters, and Ilan took part in that mission. The war ended and Ilan came home. Mira, Romek's wife and Ilan's stepmother, recalls. When the Yom Kippur War ended and Ilan came home safely, we thought that the hard days were behind us, but to our sorrow, we discovered that we were mistaken. There was a ring at the door, and I opened the door, and I see four Air Force officers standing in the door. I understood immediately and get it, and I cried, Mira. And I sat in the chair, in the, the, I think in this chair, and I understood. 44 years later, the wounds are still fresh. It took me quite a time to, to get back to normal life. I used to go every week, every week to the cemetery when I was still driving, when I was still young. Now I am just 98 years old. He's seen it all. Israel in formation. Israel at birth. Israel at its most personally painful. What does Romick think of his country heading into its 71st birthday? I don't agree with the politics of today. But Israel is not in a bad condition. I think it's a very good condition. Israel at 71, Romick Fine at 98. Owen Alterman, I-24 News. Uh,